Hi there, this is a tutorial for Windows 7 users on how to enable Telnet and how to connect to any Unix server. As well, how to create an account with sdf.org, a free shell account for teachers, students, and Unix enthusiasts. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Windows 7 is an operating system that does not come with Telnet enabled, so we have to enable Telnet. Previous uh, Windows operating systems usually have uh, Telnet enabled, so to, to enable Telnet we click Start. We're going to go to the Control Panel. We're going to choose Programs and under the programs and features we're going to use the turn windows features on and off box opens up with the list of check boxes takes a couple seconds scroll down and you'll see telnet client telnet server and the tftp client i like to enable all of them the ftp is a uh, file transfer protocol through telnet Okay, go ahead and click OK. Takes a couple seconds. Window pops up, usually about 30 seconds to a minute. Some computers it could take less or more. There we go. So to use Telnet, how do we do this? Once this finished Telnet, it's going to be enabled now on this Windows operating system. Okay, I'm going to close this window out. How do we get to Telnet? How do we use it? Oh, we use the command prompt. So, what's the command prompt? Let's see. It's an application where we can find it under accessories by clicking start, going to all programs, finding the accessories folder. There it is. Open that up and you'll see a uh, the uh, command prompt program. Click on that. So click on that and you'll see you have a command prompt. In order to connect to a Unix server basically type the protocol telnet space and then the website you'd like to deal with. In our case it's sdf.org. Click enter return and you are now logged in. To create a new account Type in new, hit enter, read the prompt, it'll ask you to type new again, type new once again, hit enter, and follow the prompts. Are you using a Windows 2K or XP? Obviously not, because this is a tutorial for Windows 7. Use your backspace or your delete key. Would you like to view the guestbook? The guestbook are people who want you to know who they are. In this case, you don't need to, I'm going to say no. Do you want to sign it? You can if you want. I don't want to. I'm going to hit no. Read the prompts, please. As soon as you're done, follow the, follow the instructions. In this case, hit return. At the FPE command, you're going to want to write the command make account. M K A C C T. You'll see that right here see that there make account hit enter what would you like to use for your login this is going to be your login name it's a fictitious name in this case I'll use um, Barstow SDF hit enter oh someone's already used that one okay so make up another one make account M A C C T enter oh it already exists. Let's do that one more time. M K A C C T. Make account. Enter. Why don't we try just for fun? Barstow College. Enter. Okay, that one worked. Agree with the policy, of course. You have to type in yes. And then it asks for your name. I'm going to say. Um, Wendy, you can use any name you want. None of this information after your name 
do you need to put? You don't have to put your year of birth or your zip code. Just hit enter, enter. In this case, please put yes because we are students and we are faculty. Yes, that you're a student or that you're a student. Um, I'm not an amateur ra uh, radio operator. I'm not using dial-up or ISDN, but if you are, uh, please put yes or no. In this case, it's probably going to be a no. I don't play games. Uh, I don't need any vis um, in, uh, visual uh, audio help. Uh, how did you hear about the SDF? Please type in here Barstow College. Hit enter. And when you're ready to hit the account, of course, we're going to say yes. New password. You're not going to see it. So just put in the password once and it's going to ask you twice. So make sure you put in the right one. Type it correctly the same way. There we go. Did it. Negotiating login, creating, established. Now it's asking me for my password again. And there we go. Logged in. Here we go. These are all the people that are signed into the server right at this moment. Thank you. This is Wendy Chisholm. Have a great day.